Hi kids! Today we will learn how we can divide decimal numbers and also how we can divide with decimal numbers. So let's start. Decimal division. We have to divide 45 with 2.5 where 45 is a whole number and 2.5 is a decimal number. Let's see how we do it. Dividing 45 by 2.5, it is same as dividing 45 by 25 by 10. And here you need to learn that dividing with a fraction is same as multiplication with its inverse. That is, dividing 45 by 25 by 10 is same as multiplying 45 by 10 by 25, where 10 by 25 is inverse of 25 by 10. Also, 45 is same as 45 by 1. Now, for solving this, divide the product of numerators by the product of denominators. Product of numerator, that is, 45 and 10 is 450. Product of denominators, that is, 1 and 25 is 25. Now, divide 450 by 25. On dividing, we get 18. So, 18 is our answer. Now, let's take another example. We have to divide 233 with 6.80, where 233 is a whole number and 6.80 is a decimal number. Let's see how we do it. We have to divide 233 by 6.80, and 6.80 is the same as 6.8. Now, Dividing by 6.8 is same as dividing by 68 by 10. And dividing with a fraction is same as multiplication with its inverse. That is, dividing 233 with 68 by 10 is same as multiplying 233 with 10 by 68. 10 by 68 is inverse of 68 by 10. You can write 233 as 233 by 1 to make both the numbers in the form of P and Q. That is a rational number form. Now for solving it, divide the product of numerator with the product of denominator. Product of numerators is 233 multiplied by 10 equals 2,330. Product of denominators is 68 multiplied by 1 equals 68. Dividing 2,330 with 68, we get 34.26. So, 34.26 is our answer. Now, let's take another example. We have to divide 45.5 with 3.45. Here, both the numbers are decimal numbers. Let's see how we do it. We have to divide 45.5 by 3.45. It is same as dividing 455 by 10 with 345 by 100. And dividing with a fraction or rational number is same as multiplication with its inverse. So, dividing 455 by 10 with 345 by 100 is same as multiplying 455 by 10 with 100 by 345. 100 by 345 
is the inverse of 345 by 100. Now, for solving this, we need to find the product of numerators and denominators. And then divide the product of numerators with the product of denominators. Product of numerators equals 455 multiplied by 100 equals 45,500. And product of denominators is 10 multiplied by 345 equals 3,450. Now divide the product of numerators with product. You can shorten the numbers by cutting the same number of zeros from numerator and denominator. Now you can divide 4,550 with 345 and you'll get 13.18. So 13.18 is our answer. So kids, isn't it simple? You just have to first write the decimal in rational number form. And dividing with rational number is same as multiplication with its inverse. And then divide the product of numerators with the product of denominators. So now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.